Face and skull reconstruction surgery is light years ahead of where it once was, and the technology is developing by the minute. Baby Ardy is about to have major surgery to correct a deformity that is squashing his brain. One in 3,000 children is born with a similar deformity, known as craniosynostosis. But only one in 10,000 is born with a fully triangular skull like Ardy's. The operation will reshape the front of his skull to make room for his brain to develop. In Heidelberg, South Germany, at the specialist head clinic, it is the night before Ardy's operation. Ardi's parents have been told how Ardi should look after the operation. Also die Stirn wird nicht mehr dreieckig sein, wie es in dem Fall hier ist, sondern sie wird ganz flach sein. His forehead won't be triangular anymore, but quite flat. And his eyes will be different. And here will be flatter. And here will be filled out. Naturally, all the family are very nervous, except for Ardi, just 12 months old and with no idea of what is to come. His mother is anxious about how he will look afterwards. The fear about how it will be, how he will look later. I'm excited. In the future, parents like Ardi's will be able to see exactly how their child's new face will be. For the moment, they have to imagine. Tomorrow's other big operation here is on Hardy Herman. He fell from a roof onto concrete when on holiday in Greece, smashed his skull, went into a coma, survived but is left with some brain damage, which affects his speech and a massive hole in his skull. The doctors have done their best to explain to Herman and his wife Simone how the operation should turn out. As we understand it, that side will be modelled the same as the other side, how that side is, so this side should be. They did computer thermography. If it comes out the way he was before, I'll be happy. <laughs> Tomorrow's operation will position a titanium plate designed on the computer to fill the hole in his skull. For the moment, Hardy has to wear a helmet all the time in case he falls. The ancient university town of Heidelberg is a world center for this kind of reconstructive craniofacial surgery. Already at the cutting edge clinically, it is also a leader in research into new technologies to aid its operations. All patients are scanned in advance to prepare the operations. Here in Heidelberg, an operation like Hardy's is done about 30 times a year. But for Hardy's family, it is a once in a lifetime ordeal. <laughs> this operation will last for five hours. After moving aside the skin, Chief Surgeon Dr. Hasfeld carefully removes the whole front of the skull, exposing the brain. Outside, the family waits nervously. The surgeon then literally takes the skull bones out, reshapes them, and replaces them in the head. This is the eye part. Here is the nose. You can see how bent it is. We have to reshape it so it looks normal. The operation has to be done before the child is one year old, while the bones are still soft and malleable. Ardi's family still have two hours to wait before they can see him. This is the first time I've ever spent even a few hours without him. That's difficult in itself. I hope he's OK. Meanwhile, Herman's op is about to start. This is a very specialist operation that Dr. Hasfeld does only about four or five times a year. Not so often, because often you can save the bone at the accident. But when the bone is lost, it's, in our opinion, the best method to get back the form and function. We are going to open the old stitch line and finally put the titanium plate, which has been prepared by computer thermography graphics, into the hole and shut the skin again. 
Now you see the dent is gone and we have a symmetrical shape again. We've put it back, he won't need to wear a helmet, the aesthetics are right again. It makes me think of the accident. I hadn't expected that. Half sleeping, the old feelings come back. But the doctors say it went well. Until the bandages come off, Simone won't really know how her husband looks. The mystery is even greater with Ardi, but that's going to change. Doctors will be able to do a virtual operation on the computer and see the result before they start. They also plan to use a robot for the surgery, as with bone corrections, they think a robot can work more accurately than a human hand. Dr. Hasfeld also has other plans. We want to establish a data bank so that the computer quasi-automatically can make a suggestion how to turn the deformity into a normal form. It wouldn't replace the operation, but would support it by making a suggestion, a pre-prepared cutting pattern provided by the computer. With a database of scans of healthy skulls, doctors will be able to match the deformed skull against a norm of the same age. Many patients nowadays can't imagine before the operation how the result will be. Luckily, lots say afterwards that it's good, but they say also that they couldn't exactly imagine it. In the future, at least, that uncertainty will have been taken away. Three months later, an Ardi is up and running. Obviously, we were very worried how he'd look and how he'd be. Now he's very well. The operation was successful. We couldn't imagine beforehand how he would look after the operation, but now we are really content. Of course you worry, but with the operation, we saw that the doctors managed it, and our son too. And that makes us happy. <laughs>